Pershing 1A long-range surface-to-surface missile has been deployed in Germany by the United States Army and German Air Force since the 1960s. Developed to fill a quick reaction alert role, this land-based NATO theater nuclear ballistic missile system has undergone a number of major improvements. Rapid mobility and concealment provide a high degree of pre-launch survivability. Over the course of the years, changes to the ground support equipment improved action time and modifications to the missile increased reliability. The newest improvement to the Pershing family of weapons is Pershing II. Pershing II has an increased range of up to 1,800 kilometers with an order of magnitude improvement in accuracy. P2's extended range allows NATO to counter the unilateral threat of the SS-20 missile and backfire bomber by holding at risk targets in the Soviet Western military district. Live radar video is compared with a stored video reference of the terrain features surrounding the target area. Position errors are transmitted to the inertial guidance system that steers the missile to the target with pinpoint accuracy. The reentry vehicle responds to its final guidance command by steering toward the target. After receiving the final course correction, the reentry vehicle returns to vertical for the remainder of its brief journey to the target. The Pershing II advanced development program was completed in 1978 after five missile flights and P-2 entered full-scale engineering development in February 1979. Rigorous ground testing was conducted at Eglin Air Force Base and in the remote area at Martin Marietta Corporation's Orlando Aerospace Facility. Included were cold chamber tests. Static motor firings were conducted at Hercules test grounds in Utah, and conflow testing exposed the reentry vehicle to the high velocity, high heat conditions that will experience upon reentry. The MAN tractor that tows the P2 launcher in Europe was extensively field tested in West Germany and at Aberdeen Proving Ground. Captive flight techniques verify the radar area correlation guidance system accuracy. Testing was conducted in all weather conditions over areas similar to the European environment. Long range test flights are launched from the Eastern Test Range at Cape Canaveral, while short range flights are fired into White Sands missile range. Performance objectives include first and second stage burn and separation, maneuver capabilities, and both inertial and terminal guidance accuracy. In early 1982, Army troops arrived in Orlando to receive key personnel training, including handling and assembly of the missile. They gained experience in system operation, emplacement, march order, and pre-launch and supply. Operational testing began at Fort Sill, Oklahoma in March of 1983. Emplacement and evacuation procedures were performed in a simulated tactical environment. To fulfill the NATO requirement to deploy Pershing II in Europe by December 1983, full-scale production began while engineering development and testing continued. This planned concurrency in the program makes use of the same production tooling for the engineering development hardware as for the production. Pershing II is right on schedule, and as production hardware comes off the line, it is marshaled at the port of embarkation. Troops are being trained simultaneously 
and the system will be fielded in battery lock sizes. For every P2 placed in Europe, a P1A with a larger nuclear warhead is removed. The Army contractor team commitment continues successfully toward meeting the NATO requirement for deployment of Pershing II in Europe by December 19.